In this video, I'll show you how to connect and scan using your Canon CanoScan LIDE 300 or 400 scanner with your Mac computer. Could be a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac, it doesn't matter, it works the same way. So let me show you how to connect them and then I'll show you how to scan. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to use the cable that was included with your scanner Connect one end of this cable to the back of the scanner. The port is over here on the left side, like this. And then the USB, you need to connect it to your computer, obviously. Many Macs don't have a USB type A port, like my MacBook Air M2 here only has two USB type C ports. In this case, you'll need an adapter. This is the adapter that Apple sells, and in my case, this is the one that works the best. It never fails me. I'll put the links in the description if you want to get one of these. You just have to plug it one end like this, and the other end goes in the port of your MacBook. Like that. Now, next step on your Mac is to go into the settings. You can also simply click on the Apple logo on the top left and then go in System Preferences, click on it. This will open and you need to go in Printers and Scanners. Then from here you're going to tap on this plus symbol. And in this list you should see your Canon LIDE 300 or 400 in this list selected and then you're going to press the add button. Okay, now in this list over here, you should, yours should be much shorter. You should find under scanners, the Canon LIDE 300 or 400 selected and then press open scanner. This window will open. Let's make it bigger. What it will do automatically it will do a preview. So this is not a scan. This is not saved anywhere. So what you'll need to do now is to place the document you want to scan on the scan bed. This is the page I want to scan. I'll place it facing down with the top section towards where the small arrow is and make sure that the corner of your page is touching this arrow as well. Align it this way. Then you can close the scan lid and on your computer there's a few options that you can change here and it's quite important I would say. First, do you want the document to be in color or black and white? I'll keep it color. Then the resolution. If you're scanning a picture or an artwork, anything that has many details, you want to select the highest number. So click on it and select the highest number here. It's 2400. Click on it. If you're just scanning a text and you want it to be quick, well, I think you can simply select 200 is plenty details for any text document. But if it's any art or pictures, then just choose the maximum it will get the more it will get you the most details you can even use custom size in this case you're going to drag you see you're going to drag exactly where your document starts and end it's up to you if you prefer this way i'll keep a4 for this demonstration and scan to you need to select in which folder you want uh, the scan to go if you want it to be in desktop, just leave it there. If not, select any other Mac folders. Then under name, choose a name for your scan. Let's say I just want test. And then format. Do you want it to be in PDF, JPEG or any other formats over here? Select this one too. And finally, if you're scanning multiple pages to combine in one PDF document, you're going to leave this checked combine into single document if you're just scanning one thing one page one paper just uncheck this in my case i'll keep it checked just to show you what's happening and finally leave image correction to none 
When you're done, press the scan button here. Okay, the scan is done. What you can do now is to place the second page of your document if you have multiple pages. Okay, let's say this is my second page. Just put it there, align it, close and press scan again. Okay, so now we can exit this. Now go in the folder where the scan went, the one that you decided, in my case it's desktop, so it's over here, test, open, and both pages will be combined in one PDF document. If you have multiple pages, 14, 50 pages, well, they'll both be combined in one because we checked that small uh, box there. So this is it. This is how we connect and scan using a Canon. Canon scan LIDE 300 or 400 on a Mac computer. If this was useful, please leave a like, comment down below, check the links in the descriptions and I'll see you in the next one.